y'all and welcome back to another video. Uh, make sure you guys hit the like button, share and subscribe. Share this to any friends who need to hear this when it comes down to learning and starting to saying your daily affirmations. Who, what, when, where, why, and how. Saying your affirmations, it does make a difference. I'll go ahead and touch into the details specifically in another video. But for this video, I'm just going to give you an overall gen general scientific look at saying your affirmations. If you want to look at it from a more spiritual aspect, I'll tap into that also. Um, saying your affirmations and meditating go hand in hand. Um, meditation helps with anxiety and other things even outside of once you become, you know, your higher self and you found your purpose and everything, just continuing to go with the motions and um, just living your best life. It comes down to saying your affirmations. The most important part that you must um, come to understand and realize and pay close attention to is your intentions. What is your intent when you are praying or meditating or saying your affirmations? And it, the purpose, the energy, the attitude towards behind saying your affirmations. It's just like when you pray, um, uh, God, Allah, the universe, whomever, however you want to look at it, know the intent and the energy, the vibrations that you're giving off when you're saying it. And it's the same thing um, of sending your frequency, your fre frequencies and your vibrations out to the universe um what is the intent behind it what is your attitude what is your um if you're asking for something or if you're praying for someone else what you put out there is what you give back if you believe in karma it's definitely the same thing going hand in hand it's like when you're praying and you're asking for something are you asking in a way that will harm another person of uh, where it's like more selfish like you're asking um, I wish that this would go better for me. Or are you saying, I want this to not happen for someone else? One of the best examples that I can give is like, uh, let's say for instance, you want to pray that you obtain something, um, whether it's like an attribute or whether it's materialistic, it's something in the physical world. Um, are you really asking for yourself and are you asking from a place of love and from a place of patience um, versus praying on someone else's downfall or or, uh, praying against someone else or are you asking can God or the Allah or the universe take something from someone else okay whether it happens or not the intent behind it is really not putting you much further in life it's really not getting you any closer to your goal or becoming the best version of yourself figure out what's best for you people issues is not focusing on themselves and they're too much going after bringing the next person down or pulling the next person down or making sure the next person don't don't go where they're they're where they got to get to because there's still some insecurities or some things within yourself that lies um, that you need to address. So when you're saying things like, I am beautiful, I am smart, I am intelligent, I am sexy, I am... Uh, I am successful, I am wealthy, I am um, patient, I am love, I am kindness, I am strength, I am purpose. When you're saying these things, really come from a place of what it is that you like feel as if you are already in that aspect like that's why it's called i am affirmations instead of saying i wish or it's not called i want affirmations it's called i am because whether you think of it spiritually from god or you think of it uh, scientifically um from a standpoint of the universe um operating in vibrations and frequencies you're wanting to send out the message or the energy that you are already in a place of having what it is that you want you have to be in the now it's not exclusive to anybody short tall men women um old or young this is for any and everybody on a daily basis, 24 seven, you are operating on a frequency. You are constantly giving out vibrations or sending messages to God or the universe, whomever you subscribe to. So being mindful of the state of the energy that you are in at every moment, you're gonna keep attracting that same type of frequency. You're gonna keep living that same reality. You can't be depressed and sad and trying to sit there and say an affirmation like I am, I am beautiful, I am wealthy, I am healthy. You have to take actions. You have to um, change your thoughts. Whenever you're on that path of, of wanting to walk into your best season, it is very, very, very important to try to not um, say your affirmations until you have already cleansed, detox, and meditated, and you are operating in those, those higher frequencies so you can attract and align yourself properly with what it is that you want. Well, that's all I have, you guys, uh, for today. I wanted to keep this short. Um, but yeah, pr try your best to not just say your affirmations, but pay attention to your, your attitude, your energy, your vibrations, um, your intent behind when you're saying what you're saying. Try your best not to 
um, go into it with a self selfish aspect. You have to come from a place of of being in the, the space that you want. Um, if you want love, you have to be love. If you want kindness, you have to be kindness. If you want to attract um, wealth or wealthy people or um, you have to put in that work and you have to um, feel as if you already are in that state. It comes down to feelings. Feelings are the most important thing when it comes to saying your affirmations, when it comes to that time alone when you are praying and meditating also. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you share so we can get the message out to as many people as possible. Love and light. Mwah.